Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. One more video, hopefully, on cleaning up this antler. And my first one really came out a lot better. But I went with too much detail. So what we're going to do, we're going to select all this. And you notice our well tools don't come up because we got to go to object and ungroup. And then we could use the boundary tool. And what it's going to do, it's going to put a boundary around this antlers and his deer head. I, thankfully, I put my nudge factor good enough. Good. So I'm going to nudge that out of the way. I'm going to put this back up to the, I'm working in the center of the page. I don't know 100% sure this is going to work, but I think it is. So now what we can do, and I see a little bit more trash right there. Go to object, break the curve apart. And you know, some of that track, if I was gonna do this for me, I would definitely uh, run on a scratch a piece of wood or something. Now, the antlers are not symmetrical. We wanna leave them alone. So we're gonna take a two point line, start moving and hold down the control button and then hit P. You see we're not in the center of the page because our antlers aren't in the center of the page, but we need our skull in the center of the page. So I'm gonna grab our skull and kind of move it where his head is more in the center of the page. And this is, remember, oh, my nudge factor was on eight, point zero one. Let's set our antlers and move this over just a little bit. Now what we also did was got rid of some more trash. I like that part. I don't like the rest of the eyeball. So what we're gonna do, and that's, Engraving that will work pretty good. We're going to take another two point line and we're going to. I want that part right there to stay, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to delete all this on this side of this page. I am going to go ahead and tell you what we're going to do. We're going to nudge there's some more trash. I'm going to nudge this, I'm going to set my nudge factor back on like two. And I'm going to nudge that out of the way for two inches. And I'm going to get, that's part of that. So I was grabbing it. So I'm going to grab that trash. I'm going to go ahead and grab this trash while I'm here. Now I'm going to bring my line back. Don't really have to have my line. But what I want to do is I want to single out this part of the head so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit first. I'm gonna take the smooth tool, which came in X7 or above. I don't want I don't want it real clean because it's part of the skull. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the smart fill tool and fill that in. We're gonna control D to make a duplicate of that fill and move this over. Now I'm gonna take away my line and take away my smart fill. I need to left click, right click. Now I don't, I got that line, but we can fix that. Let's take, um, what we can do right here is take this, whoop, take the shape tool and go right here and right click and break that apart. Go down here to the bottom and do the same thing. You see that might be a little bit too symmetrical at the bottom. I'm just gonna break it apart. Then I can use my virtual segment delete key and delete that line. And because it doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, and I really wanted to keep that, I think that's part of the skull or the antler, I'm just gonna take the shape tool, I'm gonna delete a couple of nodes, and I'm just gonna wind that guy around there and make it look a little bit more uh, realistic. You know, you could change it up a little bit to make it less, um, He's trying to do, you know, I could have got a, an antler or a skull with an antler off the internet. He's trying to do this for somebody to make it look uh, pretty good. So now we've got all that. Let's just take the smart fill tool and fill on black. And that's pretty sharp. Well, that's perfect. Now, uh, I'm gonna send him both these files and he can pick which one he wants to do. I would still check for for um, 
And I just noticed the antler on this side, on the old picture. Uh, I actually think this is a lot better, especially since it's the skull. You know, it could have been cleaned up a little bit more. Um, you know, that right there, we kind of got like a, that's a, what I call it, a node that's twisted. See what happens when we delete it. Yep, that looks pretty good. Now, if you look at this, this is the one I combined. And you could, you know, make this eye appear more or not. Um, we could take the shape tool and, you know, move that up there and fill that in with black if you wanted to. But you can make both eyes look the same exactly the way I did a while ago with this one. So that came out pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.